Have a nice day my dear children. In this video we are going to discuss the lossy and construction. Today the lesson is the locus of points. The locus of points which are at a constant distance. Which are at a constant distance from a fixed line. From a fixed line. From a fixed line. Now let's do the following activity to determine the locus points of locus of points which are at a constant distance from a fixed line. Draw a straight line segment in your exercise book and name it as A B. Next, place the straight edge. Place the place the straight edge on the line A, B, and the set square lodge in the straight edge as shown in the figure here. This is the set square. Place the straight edge. Place a straight edge on the line AB like this and a set the square touching. Set, touch the set the square. Touching the set the straight edge as shown. Make a point 3 cm from AB using the scale on the Straight edge and name it as P. Now, 3 centimeters. 1, 2, 3. 3 centimeters. Name it P. By changing the points, sorry, changing the position of the set the square, making a Couple more points at a distance from 3 cm from A, B and name them Q and R. Here, Q. R. Using the straight edge, join the above marking point P, Q and R. Join these light points. This describe the locus of points which are at a distance of three centimeters from the line A B. Observe that a similar locus can be drawn on the other side A B too. Not only this side, we can, but also we can draw the other side of the line maybe here. Place like this and mark a point 3 centimeters from the AB here. The 
the line. The locus of points which are at a constant distance from a straight line are the two straight lines parallel to it. At the given constant distance from it on either side of AB. Here. The locus of points equidistant from two intersecting straight lines on a transparent paper draw a pair of straight lines as shown in the figure here like this. O a and O B. Please draw. Take a paper and to if you have oil paper, please draw it O A and O B. Fold the transparent paper such that ON and OB coincide and mark the fold line with the dotted line and name it OX. Mark, fold, the, fold this paper such that ON and OB coincide. OA and OB coincide. OA and OB coincide. Fold the paper here. Such that OA and OB coincide. OA and OB coincide here. OA and OB coincide. Here, OA and OB coincide. Then, mark the fold line with the dotted line. And here, mark the fold line with the dotted line here. Name it OX. Mark a point on the dotted line and name it P. Mark a point on the dotted line and name it P. Perpendicular. You. Using a set this square. Using a set this square. Draw lines, draw two lines from P perpendicular to OA and OB respectively. Measure the lengths and write down here. Draw two lines from P perpendicular to OA and OB respectively. Here. Take a puta. Take a set the square and draw the perpendicular line here using the set the square take a set the square and mark two perpendicular lines to OA and OB
Measure the lens. Measure the lens. Take the ruler and measure the length. Uta. Measure the lens. Measure the lens. These two lengths are equal. Please measure the length. This length is equal to this length. Now mark more points. Mark more points on line OX. As shown in the figure and name them P1, P2, P3 etc. From each of these points draw perpendicular lines on Lines to OA and OB measure their lengths and write down them. Mark the point. This point P1, P2, P3, P4 etc. Now draw the perpendicular lines to OA and OB. Here. These two lengths are equal. This length and this length is equal. From P3 this length and this length It, these two lengths are also equal. This length is equal to this length. These two lengths are also equal. Then the locus of points equidistance from two intersecting straight lines is the angle bisector of the angles from formed by the intersection of two lines. Now take the protector. From above activity it is clearly OX is the uh, line that divides the angle AOB into two equal angles. Please uh, take the protector. And measure these two angles. Please take the protector behind. Uta, please take the protector and measure. Take the protector and measure the angle A O. X. Measure the angle AOX and write down it. Next, measure the angle BOX. Measure the angle BOX and write the magnitude of it. Angle AOX. Angle BOX. Now we can see angle AOX is equal angle BOX. Now the locus of points equidistant from two intersecting straight lines is the angle bisector of the angles formed by the intersection of the two lines. Uta. Intersecting straight lines is the angle bisector. Is the 
angle bisector angle bisector angle bisector of the angle of the angle of the angle of the angle formed by the intersection of formed by the intersection of the two lines intersection of the two lines draw a straight line segment draw a straight line segment and name it x1 draw a straight line segment and name it x1 then illustrate by a half straight the locus of points which are 4 cm away from it place a straight edge of uh, set square of the set square on the line x y and uh, a set square cutting the straight edge as shown in this mark mark a point 4 cm away from x y like this by changing the position on the of the set square mark a, a couple more points a distance of 4 cm from x y puta using a straight tape join the above mark point illustrate why half is great the locus of points which are 4 cm away from it here observe that a similar locus can be drawn on the other side of xy2 now like this place the straight edge on x y and the set the square touching the straight edge as shown in this mark four points away from x y and mark this point by changing in the position of the set the square and mark a couple more points at the distance from 4 cm from x y here now using a straight edge join these points like this finished puta next question a student walks on a straight road Plotting a wheel of diameter twenty centimeters, which is fixed to a handle, illustrate by a rough sketch the locus of the center of the wheel. Here, this is the road. This is the road. Uh, a student walks on a road, plotting a wheel. This is the wheel. diameter of it is 20 cm 
This is the wheel. Diameter of this wheel is 20 centimeters. This is the center. Diameter is 20 centimeters. Diameter is 20 centimeters. Diameter is 20 centimeters. Which is, uh, which is fixed to handle. Elast uh, diameter is 20 centimeters. Mm. Student is this. Uh. Illustrate and uh, fix to a handle. Diameter is 20 centimeters which is fix to a handle. Uh. This is the handle. It is fixed to the uh, wheel. Illustrate by a rough sketch the locus of the center of the wheel. This is the center. Diameter is 20 centimeters. Radius is 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters. Here. This radius is perpendicular to the straight road. Now, uh, rotting a wheel on the road. Rotting a wheel is on the road. Now, this is the 10 centimeters. Ten centimeters. We marked other two points like this using a set square and join these points. This perpendicular distance is ten. Centimeters. The locus of the center of the wheel is the locus of the center. Constant distance from the road, constant distance from the straight road parallel to it and the constant distance constant distance of 10 centimeters from it the locus of the center of the wheel is at the constant distance of 10 centimeters from the straight road then parallel to it parallel to it the figure shows the position of the hour and and the minute tag this is the hour and this is the minute tag This is the position of the hour and then the minute pan of a clock at a certain at a certain instance at the moment 
and the second end is located then equidistance from these two hands indicate the position of the second hand by separate roughly sketch we can do it like this we take a set square set square uh it plays like this and mark the point and draw this perpendicular line take a sorry take a 